So just now a quick video about Virtual DJ 2021 and this time it's about colors of the pets on the pet pages because there was a question about that in the Facebook group. So I'm gonna try to answer that here and how you can actually control these independently in different ways. So as you can see down here, I have my old read little buddy uh, which has RTP pets so they can turn on ton of, to, in, into all kinds of colors, right? Um, and right now it's lighting up like a Christmas tree and the pads. So let, let's see what's going on. So I go up to Visual DJ and you can see I have a pad page here, the custom one, so I don't not ruin anything. And it says echo on all four pads. And that's because all four pads does exactly the same in this little demonstration. So if I go into the, uh, the edit mode up top here and go over here and go through the four top pads, You can say they all say if, uh, effect active echo because that's basically what they do. So you can also hear that if I play the track down here and start triggering the, uh, the pads. Echo, 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 and echo. And the same on the other deck. Echo, 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 and echo. But they have different colors. So why is that? Well, the pad pages, of course, are designed to do the same on each deck while you load them. So that's how I will start. So let's go into the first pad here. So the first pad uh, has no action on the color pane. So let me click the color pane here. So you see there's nothing in here. So what happens to them? Well, it doesn't have a color up here. And if I turn it on, it just has uh, the, the little square around it, right? So you can see it's active. But if I go down here, it's without color when turned off, and it's white when it's turned on. So that's because it has no action put in for the color. So it just does something default, right? Now the next one, has an, a color on it, the color red, and it has also a little mark in the auto dim, sorry, in a little auto dim up here. So that means that when we look down here, it's gonna be, uh, have a, 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 a dimmed out red when it's not in use. And if I enable the echo, it's gonna be bright red. So dim red, bright red. So that's how the, if you just add a color works together with out of them. If you don't put in out of them like this, and I'm just gonna have to jump to another pattern back to have it take effect like this. Then it'll be bright red, red all the time. Like that. So that was just by adding one color. Let me just turn that back to auto them because that's probably a better indication of on and off, right? And then we'll move to the third pad here sorry and look at the script for that one well that actually have a uh, a little question mark in it which means that it's actually querying something so it has the exact same script as the push action which is effect active echo and it has a question mark to to question that and so if that's actually on which means that echo is on then you should set the color red and if it's off then you should set the color green and that's exactly what happens if I look down here. So right now it's green. So when I turn on the echo, we can listen to it also. So the echo is on, then it turns red and back to green and I turn it off. So that's how you can actually control two different colors when on and off, instead of just dimming one, uh, um, the same color, dimming it when it's off, or not having a color at all, of course, like the first one, which makes it white when on, at least on this controller. Um, and then there's the fourth one. That's maybe the most interesting one because that's currently green. And if I turn on the echo, it's gonna be red. And then the other deck, it's currently blue. And if I turn it on, it's yellow. So that's a little bit crazy because that's not the same on each, on each side, right? It's different on the two decks. 
Off, on. Off, on. So how do we do that? Well, that's actually the part that the pet page is not really meant for because they're gonna they're meant for doing the same thing on the, this, on the deck, when it, whatever deck you load it on, right? But you can uh, get around that again with scripting. So linking up here and moving on to the fourth pad. We simply add a little question mark more. So we have a, uh, a query within the query. So this is the same stuff as before, effect active and setting some colors. But we have another one saying action deck one and a question mark. And that simply asks Visual GJ, am I currently on deck one? Because then I want to do this stuff, which means then I want to do red and green when on and off, right? But otherwise, little colon, I want to do this stuff down here. So that's going to be yellow when on and blue when off because I have the same uh, effect active echo question mark, right? So that's actually a way that you can turn uh, turn the patch into having different colors on different decks. So that's pretty cool if you want to do that. So again, if I go down here, so we can see it happening, press play. This red echo on, it's yellow. And when it's off, it's blue. On, off. And the other deck, play. Off, it's green. On, it's red. So that's just a little bit on how you can handle colors on these, uh, on these things. There's a little bit more probably you can do. You can also do light colors or dark colors and stuff like that. So have a little bit differently. Um, but that's that's basically uh, based, that's basically it. And I'm of course going to put the scripts in a video description so you can try some of this stuff yourself.